My book, Who Painted My State Purple, came in 2021. And by that time, it was already apparent that the Chinese are putting listening devices in many appliances that essentially call back home to tell or report about what you have been up to. Basically, this was something that was found on Amazon EWS servers as well as on Apple servers and many other companies. Most of these companies gave the investigation to FBI and it was all hushed up. I don't know what really happened, if FBI pursued charges or not, but the Chinese are known to snoop and snoop pretty bad. Now what is happening is a very common instrument that we all have in our houses, the inverter. They are now beginning to see that even inverters have some components that basically are reporting data back to the you know, service in China or some other country about all your activities. So this is what we're going to be talking about here, a small slide deck to share with you. First, please like this video and if you have not already subscribed to our channel, do subscribe to our channel. Here we go. Hidden devices found in Chinese made inverters. Which one was the first one that had this one? The United States experts discovered unidentified communication equipment, including cellular radios in Chinese-made renewable energy equipment, particularly solar power inverters and batteries. These communication devices were not disclosed in the official product documentation, raising serious cybersecurity and national security concerns. So this is something that has been identified in the United States. I bet my bottom dollar that the same thing is happening across the world. Experts warn that these hidden devices can potentially bypass, bypass installed firewalls, allowing remote control, shutdown or manipulation of inverter settings, leading to power grid instability, infrastructure damage, widespread blackouts, a vulnerability described as built-in way to physically destroy the grid. And who are the major players involved? Huawei, of course. Huawei remains the world's largest inverter manufacturer with 29% market share, followed by SunGrow and Jinlong Solis. Some companies like Germany's 1,5 avoid Huawei inverters citing security concerns. Now, since 2019, the United States has banned Huawei from using American technology, but it doesn't ban the Huawei-based inverters. I don't know if it's uh, OEM to other products. So these are all now layered, okay? So what you don't know is unless you open the chassis and go down and drill down to the components, to look at the part numbers and PCB markings, you may not be able to establish that a particular inverter is made by Huawei or not. Lithuania banned remote Chinese access to energy systems larger than 100 kilowatts, effectively restricting Chinese inverters. Estonia's intelligence chief warned of the risk of Chinese blackmail via technological dependencies in critical sector. Why these countries are now beginning to uh, suspect first is because of the Arctic seas. You all know that China wants to use the Arctic seas to get its products across faster into Europe and therefore they are uh, you know probably seeding these things along the way so they may be able to find out what is going on. The thing is China has found a way to manufacture things at good cost. That's where they should stick to not indulge in other plans such as this one. This is going to be a disaster. Let's hope that the Trump administration, which is trying to strike a new deal, has an ironclad guarantee that will force serious concessions from China should they be indulging in activities of this nature. The European Solar Manufacturing Council urged the European Commission to develop a security toolbox for inverters focusing on preventing infiltration of critical infrastructure by unverified foreign technology. Now, this has been happening in the past. Multiple Western nations, including the United States, banned Huawei for supplying 5G network equipment, citing backdoor concerns and potential espionage threats. Countries like Australia, UK and Sweden followed suit, citing national uh, security risks. See, these are network equipment like, for example, cell tower, right? 
the cell tower could be having some solar based uh, inverters so that the cell tower is always active even if there's a main power outage things of that nature this is where the suspicion is coming that these uh, devices if they can bypass the firewall then they basically can uh, you know snoop on what is going on there Reports by the US DHS flag Chinese manufactured telecom devices embedded with potential trojans that could allow remote access to or disablement during geopolitical tensions. That means suddenly your cell phone doesn't work because they have taken out the cell tower close to you. Similar incidents have happened in the past. In 2020, there was a hack called Solar Winds hack. While it was not directly linked to China, I think it was linked to North Korea, if I remember correctly, demonstrated the risks of compromised software in critical infrastructure affecting government agencies and Fortune 500 companies. In 2021, Lithuania's defense ministry warned users against using Chinese-made smartphones, alleging that devices from Xiaomi and Huawei contain embedded censorship and surveillance software. Look, this is very, very difficult to detect because we use the phone to just make phone calls and maybe other things like run apps and so on and so forth. If the vendor tries to do all this hanky-panky, then how does one catch it? At least the layperson, it will be very, very difficult. My two cents is do your homework. I'm told that the iPhone is quite secure. Other Android-based devices might not be quite secure. In fact, I remember that when you get Android OS from Google, you're getting it for free and people can add whatever the heck they want on top of it and then install it on your phone. It's an open software just like the DOS was in the 80s and, and so on and so forth. So be careful when you're using an Android phone as to what you use it for. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications. Namaskar. Thank you.